Oh, wonderful. Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brigzar, your home for the science behind Lego. No, it's not. Um, I don't do anything really science related. Uh, but I'm going to talk about this plane again, thanks to Joey from over at Brick Trains. I just watched a video of his. Oh, yes. Welcome to last week, by the way, also. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, welcome back to the channel again. We're going to be talking some... Uh, a little bit of science related things nothing too heavy so don't click away too quick i would like to say uh, yes I, I watched this video uh, by brick trains talking about a problem with these red elements in the amelia Earhart airplane and i get you know what i'll go ahead and talk about it because i also don't want to talk about the periodic chart something that's been bugging me here a little bit lately but um anyway if you take the Amelia Earhart airplane whether you've built it or not you take the red brakes and you put it under a black light uh, you will notice that there are orangish looking swirl marks in some of the red elements in fact one of my red elements looked almost completely orange under the black light so brick trains I'll put a link to his video where you can go into more depth uh, him and his grandson, they were, they like to experiment with the black light like I do. That's a black light. I actually got another light that says it's a black light, but it's just a light paint, paint, painted black. <laughs> it's not ultraviolet. Uh, but seeing those swirl marks, is that a defect? He was asking. I think so. I think potentially this could be things that become brittle. Uh, based on the experience of the dark reds, which I still need to do a comparison of the dark reds uh, that broke, is like they do look different under a black light compared to the ones that uh, don't break. So check out Brick Train's video. Go over there and watch his and uh, leave a comment on, on there. What do you think will happen? You can do it here too. Leave a comment. What do you think about uh, these defects uh, with... or are they not defects? I don't know. I, th I don't think it should be like. I don't. It's weird because to the naked eye, everything looks fine, but under a black light, it looks different. It's like those crime solvers. Uh, they use the black light to find clues. All right, let's talk about the periodic chart. So about two months ago, I was wearing a "They Might Be Giants" shirt. That is the periodic chart of they might be giant song it's just meant to be funny uh, it's using different letters and it's got everything arranged in the periodic chart now i would show the shirt again to you but i can only, i have to wear a different shirt every day so i can't wear the shirt again to show you but i like the periodic chart i like science um i can pretend to be a physicist i mean all, all you got to do is go buy a t-shirt on the instagram ad that you get and then you can say you have a degree in physics. So it's, it's pretty easy to get a degree in physics. You know, these days, used to, you have to go to school for at least four years to get a bachelor's degree in physics. Now you just buy a t-shirt. So anyway, yeah, I do like the periodic chart. Uh, the thing about the periodic chart, you know, again, you're, when you're doing the periodic chart of They Might Be Giants songs, it's just meant to be funny. Uh, in real life, the elements, they have their specific order to them. It's like they know what elements will be on there. They could even predict as you add those extra uh, protons and electrons. Uh, you know what the next, you know, the, the atomic number, uh, anyway, of certain uh, elements even before they discovered them. So, you know, they could fill in the gaps. So... There's this periodic chart of Lego elements. It's an interesting idea, but it has gaps. And I don't want it. <laughs> so, you know, I'm famous, not famous. <laughs> I have done uh, the color chart, the Lego color chart, which I don't have on display right now. I'm trying to think of different ways to do it. Uh, but I have the 2 by 4 brick color chart. So that's limited and it's only, it can only be made up of bricks that were the color, that color was in a 2 by 4 brick. So, you know, I have specific rules for me uh, with that. But, you know, Lego has made so many colors. 
Uh, a lot of them are in really weird elements that you might not see, like in standard brick form even. Sometimes there are colors, like the chrome green um, little gem piece. That's only the only color, or the only element that had that color ever. So it's one element in one set, that's the only, color, only time that color was ever used. So there's a lot of obscure ones like that. Uh, then there's colors that were in like other special elements like uh, maybe I, I can't think of an example but like a bionicle piece where you, you didn't have a brick or a plate or something uh, that that element came in that's where you get a lot of your metallics or your um, your pearl colors they usually come in some weird elements so there's a lot of different elements and if you want to make a color chart of all the elements it would be a very massive chart and very expensive to make I know people have asked me about making color charts, and I'm like, it's not worth it. It's too expensive. That being said, there's this periodic chart of the LEGO colors, which has um, different colors in what can basically fit in a one-by-one -one space. So like cheese slopes, one-by-one -one plates, cones, things like that. And they've got this chart it's got like 65 colors clearly it's not all the colors and they don't claim to have all the colors i don't know about the usefulness of it i think it's meant to be a decorative thing and it's just it's going to have a lot of holes and the information on it is outdated almost as soon as you get it because it's like you know when was this element introduced how long has it been in production how many sets has it been in blah 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 and, you know it's just you know they're making sets <laughs> every month we're getting new sets so you know the, the, it quickly becomes outdated uh, and i don't know how useful it is for comparing different co colors because you know there's the similar colors that people have a problem with like light bluish gray light gray dark gray and dark bluish gray pink bright pink and then the blues it's just like there's so many different blues like is this medium blue marish blue light aqua i mean there's so many or blue is like one of the hardest for me like telling which blue it is <laughs> so having a color chart helps but i don't know if this periodic chart would help and the reason i say all this is because i was offered to review that i chose not to because i wouldn't pay for it i i I, you know, I have made that mistake in the past where somebody has offered me something, I've tried it out, and I either didn't like it, and I would definitely not pay for it. And I, so I don't want to do that again. I, if I take something for free, unless it's just, you know, I don't know what it is. Like, uh, for instance, when the Warner Brothers sent me the Scooby-Doo box. I had no idea what they were going to send. I was like, sure, I'll, I'll do it. I thought it was going to be something small like an activity. And there's this humor, giant box of uh, Scooby-Doo sets. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so, so you, know, you, you never know. So something like that to me is different than this. So they sent me the email. I went to the website. They had two products on the website. None of them I was interested in buying. And I would not want to come here and promote something to you knowing that I wouldn't buy it at all and I wouldn't participate in it and I wouldn't want to promote it. So I said all that and I've been talking about it for five minutes, but I, I felt like I needed to say that uh, because it's 40 bucks. And I'm like, it's, it's, it's a neat idea. Don't get me wrong, but I, I'm not gonna, I have, I have standards, believe it or not. <laughs> all right. One more thing. Uh, this came in the mail. So if you see, follow me on Instagram, you probably saw my post. Was it on Instagram? No, it was a short. Oh, it was a short on Jabo 37. All right, so that's what it was. I, could, I couldn't remember where I posted it, but so my boxes came smash from Target through UPS. It doesn't matter. I'm going to, this helps me decide, uh, do, I, do I keep these and hold on to them or do I part them out? I guess I'll be parting them out. So, uh, yeah, the Cara Dune Battle Pack. And this is something I discovered. All right, so I did the short video. It got flagged, all right, by the, the monetization. And, I, and the only thing I can figure is because I used the word Cara Dune in the title, which is ridiculous. So I had Cara Dune in the title, and it, it got an ad restriction. And I'm like, 
not that I care because you know shorts don't usually run ads anyway but I was like this this is stupid there's nothing controversial about this Lego set <laughs> or Cara Dune but I, so I took the word Cara Dune out and put Mandalorian and then the flag went away so people are stupid that's what I say because there's no reason for that I mean there's, there's so much silliness in the world these days it's, I don't understand people so what I'm thinking I'm going to do so since I'm I'm doing a video you know the uploads at one o'clock on this channel that channel over there Jabbo 37 I also got another channel that's Jabbo that used to Jabbo is the experimental channel Jabbo 37 is the original channel the very first channel I ever had on YouTube and the reason it's Jabbo 37 instead of just Jabbo is because the other channel is Jabbo and the original channel it the original channel name was J Olson 37 that's what it was for eight five see from 2007 when I created it uh, till 2008 when I first uploaded a video until I started messing around in 2011 2012 so sometime around 2011 or 2012 I can't remember I changed it from something else besides J Olson 37 and it went through a lot of different changes over the the years I realized realized later that I just needed a short I just want a short name and I guess it's probably confusing for some of the old-time subscribers they, they don't know that's the same channel so I recommend if you if you're coming up with a YouTube channel name come up with it and don't change it because <laughs> it just confuses everybody um, unless you're changing it like it's you're shortening it but you know the the gist of it is still there like I give you an example like just too good it was just too good euro bricks and he changed it to just just too good so that actually made a lot more sense and was easier to type in uh, but I went from J Olson 37 to JAO productions which is ridiculous names and you there's actually a video of my son saying well, JAO productions in, in a video that he made um, and then then it became Brixar's Basement and Beyond. Then it became Brixar Toys. And then Kappa happened, and I'm like, oh, I should have just left it like Brixar's Basement. And so I didn't want to leave Toys in the channel name. And I'm like, I'm just going to change it to Jabbo37. I'm going to bite the bullet. It, you know, the channel pretty much died after I did that. But I was like, I got to do that. I just don't want Toys in the, uh, the name of the channel anymore. So it's Jabbo37. It's going to stay that way. <laughs> I'm not changing it again. Definitely not changing this one. Bricks are. Not going to change Trains Are Fun anymore. Not going to change Jabbo. Not going to change Yoda Speak Translator unless um, Disney comes after me for the, the having Yoda in the channel name, which could happen. Uh, then it might become YSL. Um, need to do a video over there. And it, it's, so this is the what I plan to do. Just let you know. So this channel is... This format for this year is just going to be the way it's been all year long. Trains are fun. Still be the train videos, although I may do Lego trains here. Um, Jabbo 37, that's what, if I do live streams for now, that's probably where they will be. And I'll do shorts that are Lego related. So I'm not going to do any shorts on this channel at this time. That could change next year. But I, I'll do like any of the Lego shorts I'll do over there Any uh, for, on Jabbo because I'm just trying to keep this format consistent on this channel for the entire 365 days which means I'll be back tomorrow in a different t-shirt so that's the main thing with my format all right so the feature you know is brick trains that was my viewer I'm featuring in this video so go check out his video and thank you for watching and let me know what you think was I was I being petty talking about the periodic chart? I think I was being honest with you, the viewer, not throwing shade at the company or anybody that has chosen to receive that product for free. I'm just telling you, I couldn't get it. I don't want it because I, I wouldn't pay 40 bucks for that thing. And I'll see you tomorrow in another t-shirt.